kill me. Do you understand? I'm ready to die. I'm ready to die. If you answer one question, amigo, we will let you live. Where was your company going, eh? Come on, tell us and save your life, my friend. Your life, Douglas. Muy bien. You are free, my friend. Go on. Pobrecito. <laughs> Vamos, muchachos. alone out here, even for a day. For our protection, two platoons at least are needed. They can't leave us. They could steal all the gold in your bank. Darling, forget about the bandits. The replacements have been late before. I'm sure the captain will protect us. Don't worry. He knows what he's doing. Yes, surely. All alone, he'll be able to fight to protect you. Up till the moment that they kill us all. The captain has got to stay anyway, because he's the only representative of Washington here. And as such, he's expected to assure protection of the town until the matter is resolved, whether or not this territory will be finally offered to the Mexicans. That may be soon. Tom, you must see what you can do. They say they've heard nothing from the replacement, so they're starting right away. The captain thinks we're getting worried over nothing. They're probably just a few hours away. You think so? How do you plan to assure all the others? At least I want you to assure us that all our money's safe. No one will touch the money. Now I ask you to rely on me for that. Well, I see trouble anyway. You see that bunch right there? You just better have some plan. I have one. We'll transfer the gold to the branch at El Paso till the border questions are settled. 
What about your men, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Company, column of two, forward, arch! Hasta la vista. <laughs> ah, poor little Nino. Did I do that? Well, this will make you forget. Now you can do me a favor. Look, do you know that, senor? Huh? Will you please tell that big man there that my compadres and I will gladly protect this town? Vamos, go ahead. He said this. Don't you see? Why, that two-bit coyote. The whole bunch of them are having a time laughing at us. Listen to me now. Let them say anything, but they won't make a move. Morrison. What are you trying to do? Intimidate us? And what is that word, senor? This town is not yet part of Mexico. I think that I should remind you of... Oh, no. You're really trying to tell us we are unwelcome, senor. Perhaps your men have conducted themselves in a way that makes them unwelcome. You mean that you want to teach my men American manners? Maybe it would be sufficient if your men arranged to be promptly outside of town within an hour's time, or we'll lose our patience. That's enough. If any one of your men touches his gun, I shall hold you responsible, Colonel Ferreris. That goes for you too, Morrison. Those are orders. I'm the military commander here. I have complete authority until the Border Commission decides whether this town will be American soil or part of Mexico. You are each expected to use your head. There's not going to be any shooting. You'll all obey this while I hold my mandate. That clear now? We're amenable, Captain, on one condition, that they learn to behave themselves. I will wait. Anybody here? Are you open? No. My uncle isn't here. Well, where is he? He went to El Paso, but he'll be back soon. Oh, I see. Uh, when? In a few days. Hotel's empty. No one comes here because the Americans are afraid of the Mexicans, the Mexicans are afraid of the Americans. Well, that makes everyone afraid. And that's why we're empty. <laughs> the world of politics. Here, will this buy me a room? Well, you must have an awful lot of money, mister. <laughs> Sometimes. One day I'm going to win loads of money playing cards. 
You'll forget that dream. All he needs is diamond ears. What do you think of him, Fred? Why don't you buy him for your Christmas tree? Now, don't make him angry, sweetie. At least till he's paid for his drink. <laughs> hey. Will this do it? place at our table. Want to play some cards? I don't think so. Not tonight. Unlucky for you. If you say no to a Mexican, it means you insult him. Very well. If you want. Over there. you got. a bit strong for you, son. What would your mother say? And your daddy might spank you. I wouldn't worry about my father if I were you, little girl. This place ain't friendly. I'm afraid you better move. Just be ready to beat it when the room gets messy. Fred, you help it. Now, if anyone's mean to you, honey, you just show them that. Thank you. 
I thank you. But you keep it, in case you got anything left to defend. But whether I want to or not, I may have to defend all I've got now. What's that you said? No, don't hide behind our skirts. Tell it to me if you dare. You filthy cheat. How's that? If you want, I can prove to everyone that you fixed the game before I sat down. <laughs> Enough with that toy pistola, huh? Perhaps you'll explain. You don't think I'm going to let you shoot my men that way? What's the matter? Because what's this all about? Put your guns away. It is him, Capitan. I saw all of it. It is his fault. He comes in here, cheats at cars, and shoots my men. By American law, car cheats must be punished. You know he should be hanged the same as you do with all the others. Any accusation needs to be proved by law in a trial. I have my proof. Any army colonel's word is enough to prove it. How do you intend to defend this charge? I want to show you something. If I may. Good enough, Captain. Your man goes to jail. See, si, see, si, arrest him. It's completely within your power. It hurts me, though. He was like a brother, Capitan. Powerful dollar <laughs> can get you anything. He's rich and fancy. Don't you worry. This time we'll let him think he won the hand. His luck won't last forever. Come on. You know you shouldn't do this. I'll soon be under the protection of Mexico. Maybe you imagine you can do just as you want. You shouldn't have made that mistake. This is still part of the United States. My friends have come to get me. You're afraid to open that door, aren't you? <laughs> You don't look so pleased to see me, Clay. Tell me, what is it you want? You may not believe me. I'm here on business. Cards? You never were a trusting soul. Why should I trust you? A man of iron. You make a good soldier, Clay. And if you follow the rules, it's pleasant. We won't talk about that. Now, you say exactly what you're planning to do here. I already told you once I'm on business. And I wanted to take any air around here. Hmm. The usual liar. A game of poker now and then. You have quite a town here. Lots of money. I may settle down a while. I ask you as a favor to go away and don't come back. Since you're asking me as a favor, all right. I'll go. So long. Wish me luck.
Abidan. They'll come, and you're afraid, aren't you? Captain, I keep telling you we got to kill the gringo. You're letting that one treat us like we're a bunch of idiots. You don't sound this monkey-faced fool. I will do it myself. Hijo de perro! Calma, muchachos. Calma. I thought I said that I could handle him with no trouble. Let me take care of him. Calma. You can't just ignore him. The longer that one stays around here, the more trouble he will cause you. Why don't you let me do the killing like I usually do? One more thing. If Washington had no representative in town, who knows? Probably the whole territory will suddenly belong to the Mexican people. He's no fool. And with complete access to the federal holding, I think the Capitan will give me his signature. How do you know? I have a method of convincing those people who don't do as they're told. But I know something he doesn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> My methods are thorough. And there aren't many still alive that think that. All right. <laughs> Too late, Captain. Well then, Captain. You are expecting someone. I was waiting for you. Ah. Yes, that's it. Well, maybe you don't mind too much if I ask you to free my compañero. Herreras, you won't get away with this, do you understand? Oh, I'm sorry, that's very true, Capitan. You are right, you know. I should get your signed permission. You see that? I told you my friends would come to bet me. Herreras, as legal representative of the United States government, I order you out of here. Mira, <laughs> comandante. <laughs> Would you be so kind as to put your signature on this, Captain? So, he wants to be difficult. Then we use my method. <coughs> Are you ready to sign yet, Captain? Very well, Captain. and his men have got a hold of Captain Reeves. They got him in his office. Hurry. Muchachos, don't worry. Now, with this document, we legally represent Mexico today. I'll take care of the paper now. You two, you better stay with the Capitan. What do we do with it, huh? Shh. All right, let's go. You see, my methods always work. <laughs> 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 Take up. 
left and don't worry about it. It'll all be over in a minute. Evanson. <laughs> Look what I found. Ah, good. This is better than we usually get, right? Yeah. There's nothing like a shot of good whiskey to warm the soul. You know, you won't believe me, but I don't like to hang a man. Because sometimes you can hear the necks. Don't worry. Look at the captain. He may be dead before we get to him. I don't have to wait for him to give his down. It's already out, see? Huh? <laughs> 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 in this territory who would stand up to Ferreras and his bandits. I know. Sam, his death must be kept a secret. It's important. You understand? The laws will be respected just as long as everyone thinks the captain's alive. That I can promise you. It will. Come on, get ready. There are many things to be done and fast. And then when I had the chance to do it. Compadres, you will bring the Capitan back. It seems I'm surrounded by idiots. Now get him. You'd better be quick. You boys, let's go. Hey, please, sir. My brother promised to protect this town and he gave his life trying. I'm going to keep his promise.
on the roof! Get off the muchacho! He's up there. He's the captain. Tell Ferreres, go. He's on the roof. Captain. Fix the captain. Where's the Bruce gone? What the hell is he up to? Bruce! Bruce! Vamos a ver. Vámonos. Deprisa, ándale. Got him. That makes seven. How many men has he got? At eight thirty. Pretty flowers. Suppose we make each dead man a flower. We can cross off seven of them. But the big moment comes when we cut down this one. It's only going to be a matter of a couple of days, Colonel Ferreras. I can't find him. He must be hiding in one of these houses. He must be found. He's being hidden in this damn place by one of the people. You always take the whole part of town. Every house must be searched. Muchachos, now take your places. Do not pass up anything.
Look at this. It's the captain's. Let me see. The captain's been here, eh? Come on, talk. Where is he? Leave him alone. Look who's still hanging around. Now, what do you know? I was looking for your friend. Might we have a little talk with you? If you don't want to die, tell me about this. Sure, I can tell you. But I'll speak to Ferreris and nobody else. And I will see that you do. Oh, our friend got here. I'm sorry to be a bother to you. Que pasa? We found this in the hotel where he's staying. You know something? You make me suspicious. That's because I've always had a doubting nature in some way. It's the Latin blood, I say. Now then, just suppose I wanted to ask you where I could find the Capitan, I bet you'd tell me. You're mighty funny. Why do you suppose you can find a hustler like me? That supposing that I could find that out, just what is it worth? I still believe he knows where the captain is. Oh. Tell us you're here. Oh, he won't be so easy to find. But I bet I'd have a greater chance of finding him than you would. Hmm. How much do you think that that would be worth? <laughs> I've been waiting for that question, amigo. Well, I imagine that finding him for you is worth a few thousand. Ah, a few thousand. But why should I trust you, gringo, when I don't even know who you are yet? Because you've everything to gain. Am I right? Maybe you are. Nothing to lose. I can't help but win. All right, I tell you what I will do. You get five thousand dollars if you can locate him and prepare an ambush for us. And no mistakes. Why you say? You know, I just might need this. <laughs> Amuse. You're right. You don't know what you're doing. You'll be traced, I'm sure. Shh. Enough, muchachito. Don't call me by muchachito. Enough, I said. You always talk when you should keep your mouth shut. And suppose I tell you I know you'll betray us. Five thousand dollars! But not gold. I pay in bullets. I never believed this could happen. Because our federal gold deposits must be protected. We've no choice but to arm ourselves. We better not leave here till sun up. That way we won't attract too much attention. It's all arranged, Jefferson. By tomorrow night, all our gold will be safely in the bank at El Paso. Won't rest much. It'll be all right. Good night, Tom. Bye. Good night. Good night, Mr. Morgan. Good job. Does it have to be you? There's no one else. We're completely at the mercy of all those bandits. Don't you see that, dear? It's my responsibility as banker. But if they knew you were going? We thought about that. Don't worry. We decided to travel on the back roads of the Canyon del Paso. Believe me, you needn't worry. They had to go. Who has? What are you talking about? Morrison and the others. They're going to El Paso with the ten man escort. The Capitan is with them, no? No, I didn't see him. This muchacho needs some whiskey. I told you so. We'll be too late. I thought I made it clear I'm giving orders around here. <laughs> Why do you always get so angry? It is such a long way there. I'm sure they won't reach El Paso. Muchachos! Vámonos! Well, where was it you saw him? 
the main road, wasn't it? That's one thing that a pretty senorita like you should not know. Someone's got to warn Morris. You must be kidding. We don't even know what road he took. His wife should know something. Maybe if I could do it. Officer in West Point. Were you there? For a while. Gambling's against the rules. My father never forgot. Wait for me here. You seem to cover a lot of territory, little girl. Tell me why you've been following me. You've got nothing to do with it. It's Morrison's wife I want. Think you'll find her here? I saw you both from the road. Very well. Go on. They're going to ambush Morrison. He must be told. Or else they'll be killed. What have I got to do with it? I noticed the look you exchanged with the captain when you were in the saloon. It was then I thought that you knew each other. I'm sure now that you feel you have to avenge him. But what if they find the grave? They're looking for him. What about your friend? Don't worry, he doesn't know anything. But I have to pretend to while. If I play along with Ferreris, I can find out things. I'd say that both of you ought to play along fine. You don't believe me, but it's true. If we waste another moment now, it's useless. Please find out from Morrison's wife which way they went. Please, I beg you. I'll find out how to get to Morrison. It isn't that I'm not able to tell you, but I don't know you, therefore I'm afraid I can't talk freely. We can save them if we know the road they've taken. And you're the only person who knows that. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't tell you, not even if you were to beg me to. I'd be a fool if I were to trust you. Very well, then. I know how you must feel about this. But I've got to find those men now. planning to take the old back road through the canyon by the name of De La Mesa. If you have another horse, I'd like to take it. Mine won't make. Please do, take mine. God be with you. Thank you. 
Wait, Jake, come back! That's the last time. Someday I'll get even with you. <laughs> Bruce, my little monkey face, we don't touch it now. It goes back to Douglas where I can keep an eye on it. <laughs>
Drugs have just been made. One thing I'm sure of. These are not Mexican irons. He got away. Don't worry about it. Manolito will know how to catch him from these tracks. Well, there is no end. It will be easy to follow him, no matter how far he may go. What do you want? We wanted to see if your horse got home safely. Search every one of the rooms. The Capitan must be found, quick! <laughs> Maybe your husband likes you to be generous to his friends. You're such a pretty lady, I'll bet that you are generous to the Capitan, eh? See? <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's not like that. No, you never do nothing. My dear wife. Oh, but you should. You're just too shy. You let the captain do this when your husband's away, don't you? Hmm? Don't you? The captain's not here. Let go of me. Oh, still you. Leave me alone. <gasps> Mommy! Kathy! Come here, little one. Kathy! What do you want? What do you want with her? Leave her alone. My child's done nothing, not Kathy, Kathy, done. no. He's here. No, he's never been here, no. If you refuse to cooperate, I will kill her. The same as we killed your husband. He's not... Mommy! Vamos, muchachos. Rápido. <laughs> he has to come back for his horse. You three stay here and keep her company. It won't be long until the Capitan returns. Be gentle to our little mother, eh? You don't have to worry if we know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give her a drink. <laughs> Get away. Here, have some. <laughs> Why did you get my shoe wet? Now, tell me you're sorry and wipe my shoe. Wipe it, I tell you! Tell me what's happened to my husband, please. I've got to know. I did everything I could, but I arrived too late. You mean to tell me my husband is dead? Yes. Ferreras will pay for this. But you don't know. They've taken away Kathy. What do you mean? They've kidnapped my daughter. Who did? Ferreras? Yes. You've nothing to fear. When did they leave here? In Harco. You sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll find your girl for you. You'll be all right?
Who's there? What's the matter? What are you doing here? Morris has been killed and so have his men. Yes, I know. I saw Ferreras after he got back. Kathy Morrison was kidnapped by Ferreras' men today. Do you know where they've hidden it? I don't know, but she may easily be hidden at Bruce's. You may try there. Where have they got the gold? You should be able to find it. The money's in there somewhere. Perfect. We're going to give him a rough night tonight. Here's what you do. Start screaming and wait for Eris. But we gotta blame someone for it. He's no fool. Blame the little one, Bruce. I'll take care of the others. Here, I want to know. Tell me. Bruce. Larry, Pancho, Miguel, aquí todos aquí. Enseguida. Through the window there. We can't keep it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The Ferreras. Forget about Ferreras. Let's go.
Drop your little job. Go ahead for the motor. Right away. Why not? What are you waiting for? Get moving. What about the others? What do you think they are? Who cares? Well, shouldn't we find out? Don't be a fool. Let's get out of here with the money. Sombrero. Don't make any noise. Vamos. Muy buenas noches. Well, now, my muchachito. Leaving us so soon, muchachito? Don't call me that, I told you. Bueno. Muchachito. Muy bien. Coronel T. Mierda. Gassy, you're home. Oh, mommy. Mommy. Baby. You're... She's all right. But you must get out of town right away. I'd like you to do me a favor. Go to El Paso, find General Reeves. He commands the 2nd Cavalry. And see that he gets this. You must tell him that his son Joe is here waiting. Thank you for all you've done for us. We should leave right away. I know that everything's going to be fine now that Kathy's safe again. God bless you for trying to save my husband and everything you've done for my daughter and me. You know, there are some things that just don't need to be said. She was here. I'll tell you, got her. Her dear captain was here. We better go and look for that gambler. Come on, we'll try the hotel.
That's a... An F in a flower garden. I should imagine that means me there. So he plans to pluck us one by one from his garden. He suddenly alters our situation. Where is he? Where did he go? Come on, tell us, where is he? He doesn't know or he would have told us. Muy bien. Make sure that someone stays here. You others watch the road. I got the whole place guarded. You'll never suspect he's completely trapped. Raise your hands and come with us. Don't try nothing. Go on. I did, so why didn't you get him then? I wonder if you'd explain what you had in mind when you put those exes in the closet. What could they be for? Are they all my dead flowers? Who is next here? Aren't you and the Capitan playing this dangerous game together? I'm entitled to an explanation, don't you think? Huh? You think there are two players? Mm, three. Obviously. And as of the present, I'm winning. Maybe you will. But not yet. The game isn't finished. But then the captain must arrive. You know I've become worried about it. <laughs> Tell me. Now where is he hiding, huh? You forgot. Tres botellas. They will help you to remember. Hurry up and give to me.
hombres. Here's a little drink. Wait. First, show me what you did to the gang. Let's see. Stand you somewhere. He's sleepy. <laughs> hey, you gringo. There's someone to see you. Give me. Snap out of it, Joe. Pull yourself together. I'll keep them busy till you escape. Can you do it? Muchachos, I've got something for you. We'll have some dancing. Some music. Music. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
You men bring me some fire, fast! Want to see what the gambler will do? At any moment, he'll come and beg that his woman be set free. Muchachos, keep your eyes open for our friend.
Bottles up. Like to have another? Now try. You might like it. Maybe. Vamos. Play again. Hmm? <laughs> Watch out. Leave them alone. Larry. Amuse me with that gringo, eh? Vamos. <laughs> Have you drunk too much? Andale, andale. Perhaps you need another. Go on, give me some extra matters. Uh, what shall we do with these gringo, eh? You awake, eh? <laughs> he doesn't want to play his game no more. <laughs> Really, that somebody deserves a more special method of dying. I want all the people to watch him die. Take him outside! Outside, Enziguida! Come on, you bingo pig! Well, I'm afraid. What are they going to do? I don't know. They said they wanted us here. They might do anything. Citizens of Douglas, we have called you out to show you a sample of our great Mexico justice. How we punish murderers, whether they are Mexicanos or American. Ready, muchachos. We're free, free, oh God, Fred. Citizens of Douglas, I have the honor to announce to the townspeople, according to a new agreement between the United States and Mexico, this town becomes a part of the Republic of Mexico from this day forward. Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Yo soy Coronel Ferreras.
<laughs> Let this be an example to all who renounce law and order. Mexico punishes bandits and traitors like Ferreras and his men the same as the United States. As of this minute, you are under the protection of Mexico. Of this, we assure you. The people are free now. Senor Reed. I have a message for you, Senor, from General Reeves in El Paso. He asked that I give this back to you. He's waiting there now to see you. You might want to use our escort. <laughs> you know, I think I'd get there before. <laughs> <laughs> 